Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Master Duel. Yeah! What are we doing today? I'm clicking up my CPR. That's pretty obvious. But today I'm going to go in there and I'm going to play. So Cosmic Ocean came out. It's a new one. You can play Marine Sis. You can build the new Fluandries. Or you can do what me and my brother did. Which is build up Legendary Ocean. So yeah, this is basically the Ma the Mako cards into a brand new deck that I think people call Umi Control. And this is a variation of that. This is this deck. Here's the version I have it that I've been using, and it's pretty fun. Uh, so what's the deck? Basically, you want to summon Ocean Lord Kairushin. Kairushin is basically a floodgate with 2,000 attack stat. Uh, when Umi is on the field, um, you can only control one face-up non-water monster. Both players have to send cards, so it completely bypasses stuff that makes it so if a card was immune, it doesn't matter. And then during the main phase, he can also look for more Umi or Kairushin, or he's 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 like a never-ending Skulker Bat Joker, but for except for he doesn't need to be normal summon, he just needs to be on the field. And then we have Mega Fortress Whale, who also does stuff. We have Jellyfish, which is a negate. Doom Kraken, which is a defensive card. Warrior of Atlantis, who searches out legendary oceans. Three copies of Legendary Ocean. Uh, Gugigo Gagigigo, who is a 2950 beat stick, who you can special summon for free from the deck if you play Fish Sonar. We have the Legendary Fisherman 2. I'm not running three in my specific version. We have three Max Seas, we have three Ash Blossoms. We have some Pot of Duality, because you never, you don't really, <laughs> you don't have to special summon that much on your turn. You could really just do buy with one normal summon. And then on your opponent's turn, you can special summon some more. Fish Sonar, which lets you look for basically every card in your deck. Yep, it's every single card in the deck, except for Gogigo Gagigigo. Um, I'm running Furrier of the Kairushin, because it's a nice way to kind of protect your monsters, and plus you get to just search out Tornado Tribute, and it's another thing that Kairushin can look out for. One copy of Sea Stealth 2, three copies of Kairushin's Dark Reef, which is crazy, and Sea Stealth Attack. These two combined is pretty nice. And then we have an extra deck of just fluff cards that we can look at and be like, oh man, those are cards. Well, let's go in. Uh, so yeah, I think this deck's pretty fun. The one weakness of the deck is, uh, I guess, Cosmic Cyclone, if someone's actually playing Cosmic Cyclone. And uh, evenly matched, because you don't have a way to stop trap cards. <laughs> you have a way to stop basically everything else in the deck, but if you get evenly matched, then you just go, oh no, and you lose almost all your cards. So, fun times. Let's see if we can get this rocking. Uh, actually a bad hand. <laughs> Terrible hand. I guess I'm just gonna pass because I drew the worst hand possible. <laughs> two Maxis and Ash Blossom. And two Legendary Oceans. There's literally no reason for me to play any of this. There we go. We're gonna live on a prayer that Maxi is enough to stop them. Ooh, okay. Uh, you can special summon this card. You can add from your hand. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, never Ash. Okay, never Ash the Spriggan kit. Always Ash the Brand Infusion. <laughs> there you go. I was like, no, there's one of these you Ash, the other one you don't. Let's see what he does. Yep, there we go. Now I can Ash Blossom that. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we can maxi and hope for the best. Though I think he wins this turn, if I'm being 100% real with you. I don't see a world in which I survive this. Because he just needs to get rid of Dermaturge and he wins. I doubt that he's going to be suddenly all like, Oh, let me be conservative about what I'm going to be doing. Actually... Hmm. Tax Mud Dragon? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, please tell me your play was Fusion Summon Mud Dragon Pass, please. Oh, this is gonna be great. We did also draw Pound of Extravagance, which is nice. Like I said, you don't ever use your extra deck, which is why I have like all these royal rares in here. This is not gonna stop him from getting cards though. Uh, all right, well, we can't be too bad off then. Yeah, yeah. 
Him being under Maxi must have him hella spooked if he doesn't think he can beat me this turn. Even though I think he should be... Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna assume that's the quick play spell that lets them play on their turn, but we'll see. My turn, buddy. Funny enough, Mud Dragon is a very good counter to this uh, to this deck, but they have to actually know what they're doing, and they never do. Ooh, Kairushin's Dark Reef is nice. Let me quickly hit him with a pot of extravagance. Six cards, baby. I'm asking you to ash this. No, okay. <laughs> Bro, what is this hand? All right. Sea Stealth. He has nothing. A Legendary Ocean. Anything? Nope. It buffs a butt, but Mud Dragon, that's for sure. And then I'll set two cards face down and I will end my turn. See what he does. So yeah, like I said, the one problem is that my dragon is actually a very good counter to this deck. <laughs> Only because he can change all his monsters to water monsters, but it doesn't affect the hand, so he still wouldn't be able to play them. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, Maxi. I scared him once using Maxi, I think I can just do it again. Oh, please, Ash Blossom, Maxi. Okay, no. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what he summons. Oh, I know who you're summoning. Guardian Chimera. This is why I waited. Well, it's pretty nice. Because now he has to pick two cards to destroy, but he has to actually pick them. I think he targets, right? Uh... Equal to the number of cards you use them show from the field. That was one. So I'm going to activate this. And I'm going to be sending this away. <laughs> sure. It's not a problem. I don't think he fully understands what's going on. But we'll see what happens. You got a fusion summon again, sir? No, right? There's no way you fusion summon again. That's crazy! What are you doing? Ooh, Trichosapelli is actually pretty nice. Uh, let me see. Monsters of Special Summon. He can't actually destroy Go Giga Go Giga Go, Go, which is pretty funny. Let me see. When a opponent monster is clean, you can return this card to the hand and if you can do negate that attack. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see, immune. So I think my play here is actually summoning Go Giga Go, Giga Go, Giga Go, and then also special summoning Doom Kraken. And he can't actually target any of my cards because he's not a water monster. So we're all good. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, I think if only his own was on the field that I can actually return the... Okay, no, we're fine. <laughs> He's, uh, he, I mean, he. Have, the worst case scenario, we just lose our Doom Kraken. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. That kind of does matter, though. That kind of sucks. Oh, that actually really sucks. I think we lose here. 
think we lose here now. Unless he has two specific cards. Actually, no, yeah, you already used Mud Dragon. I don't think he can go into anything else. Unless he runs double Mud Dragon, in which case, yeah, I'm screwed. I don't, yeah, I don't know what you're gonna do here, buddy. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you got planned. Yeah, you have to tribute year two. To get blazing, yeah. He didn't. He must have, must have forgotten. Oh, I'm still under max C. <laughs> sure, branded fusion. Do your thing. Ah, uh, you know, would be really nice right now. Oh, thank God, I can get C stealth attack on my. T Actually, it's not gonna. Mm, it's not gonna matter in time, unfortunately. What are you summoning, friend? I'll be on the branded dragon. That's fine. Still not strong enough to take down Gugi go 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 go, which is funny. Come on. Now you're gonna summon again, right? That's all. Come on, summon again. I know you want to. So yeah, on my turn, he's gonna have to select, because I'm just gonna activate Legendary. Legendary Ocean, summon Ocean Lord, and we'll see what happens. Oh, he's really wanting to get rid of me this turn. He's gonna be doing his damnedest, that's for sure. I drew so many of my legendary oceans. It's actually kind of impressive that he's still going. I wonder if this is a cost to return to the hand. Guess we'll learn when he attacks on, because I am going to be using it. Ah, oh, damn it, that's going to banish. That's unfortunate. I might actually lose this turn. Let's see... What? Bastard. He didn't want to risk it. He didn't know. Uh, do I lose this turn? No. No, I'll, I'll be left with a thousand life points and I'll be able to play one card. Which is my legendary ocean, which is all I need. Oh, you can't attack directly with it. Sweet. My turn. My turn. How are you still having moves? This is why nobody likes you, Despia. Though apparently people really do like Despia, but I think it's simply because they don't end on a negate. Anyone's willing to put up with a deck if it doesn't end on a negate. <laughs> How are you still going? <laughs> end your turn! Let me play my funny ocean man! Oh god. Well, the bright side is I am gonna lose, but I am gonna at least have to make him send four cards away. He has to put it back in his deck. Let's go. I have Pot of Duality, but I don't see a reason to use it. All right, you have something? You better play something. Okay. So his effect should immediately go into play and he has to send basically everything. Which one are you gonna keep though, buddy? That's the question. <laughs> he keeps the tax dragon. All right. Uh, anytime I activate a thingy, I think I have to do something. But um, let me see. Yeah, I have to activate it. It's fine. There we go. See stealth attack. Put this down. Let me see if I activate this. Will I have enough? Let me see. It's six hundred each turn. I have eighteen. That means I have four. I think I have about four cards I can play. Six hundred times four equals nope. Six times three equals eighteen. So I can play basically three cards. Hmm. So if I play this one, 
You'll give me one, two, three. Okay, now we're fine. And my turn. Go ahead, buddy. Your turn. That's cool. You can't activate it. But you can certainly play it. One fish man against the world. He can't attack me, which is great. So yeah, this is where I now activate. Ah, no. Okay, so again, I can play three cards. So that means if I activate this... One, two, three. Uh... Alright, I think I got it. My answer is I'm simply going to wait. Oh, wait, no, I have jellyfish on the field. I'm fine. Because when he tries to activate his effects. Well, actually, now I'm curious. Is he technically activating the effect? You know what? Fuck it. Let's find out, huh? Okay. I can't jellyfish it back. <laughs> Never mind. It's pretty bad. But that's fine. Uh... Use self attack, but then I'm out of cards. I can't play any more cards after that. Uh. Shit, I think I actually lose this. Because no matter what, I lose. I can't activate anything. No, I don't think I can kill. I think it's. Oh my god, you're right. See, stealth attack, activate. So, here's the question of activating the effect of Steve self attack. Huh, actually, we'll find out if this kills me or not, huh? Uh, I'm going to get, yeah, this one back. And I lose. Perfect. No, I didn't. I had to use it. I didn't me the, I didn't lose any life points for playing uh, uh, Jellyfish. I did for Kaioshin's Reef, but I also didn't know that the effect of him just killed it. So, either way, that was not the best, but that's something of me not knowing the cards. I'll go in there again. I lost because I didn't fully realize. I forgot the other effect to see self-attack. I thought it was only when he attacks me, not that when I attack him. It works both ways. No, it works both ways, so that was a misplay on my end, but it's fine. I had that one. I completely screwed that up. But he at least figured out that if he just kept the tax dragon that he was actually just going to win for that, so. That's the problem when you only can, that's the problem when you have to get hit by taxes. I also had an extremely shitty hand at the beginning, so I'm going to take that at, this is also not the greatest hand in the world. Having Fury of Kairu Shin and Oriental Tribute in hand means I have a dead Fury of the Kairu Shin in my deck. Ah, oh, fucking Agnesters. I hate. Oh, I, I'm not even gonna. Oh, I hate this deck so much. It's gonna take forever. I've decided to just surrender. I'm not about to stand here and watch for another te for 15 minutes for him to summon a giant un untargetable thing. I'll just play a new game. It's boring. Ignister is a terrible deck. If you're playing Ignister, you should feel bad for yourself. Play a better combo deck. Play Dragon Link. Don't hurt yourself. There we go. Going first. Alright, this should be better. This hand should be better. Funny enough, the previous hand, if I had drawn going second, it would have been great. But going first, that's a terrible hand. Alright, this isn't too bad. I have... Oh yeah, I have basically kind of full combo here. I'm going to use Pot of Extravagance, see if I can bait out his Ash Blossom. Doesn't have it. I'm gonna play a legendary ocean. Yep, and then jellyfish. Now, if he imperms me, that kind of sucks, but I doubt he has imperm. He doesn't have imperm, so we're fine. From the deck. No. 
if we get Kairu Shen for free. Then we get this ability here. And then we can just pick up Sea Stealth Attack. And yeah, now, now we're basically good here. It would have been better if we had Dark Reef, but we're fine. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he decides to do. He's gonna Lightning Vortex. Sure, I'm going to Jellyfish negate that. And then I'll also just activate the self attack because he knows I have it. I'm surprised he didn't activate Umi. I there's no reason to. Oh, if I had the other, um, the other one, it would have been good. But I don't have it on the field right now. I forgot that I could bring back the self attack too. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Time Lords. <laughs> okay. He can't. You, uh, you, no, you can attack, I think. Whose original is level 5 or higher, Basil and Plus destroy that opponent's monster. Don't you just die? Uh, can't be destroyed by card effects. I think you're actually just fine. I take half my life points, though. Yep, there it goes. Time Lords, huh? Okay. My turn. If I can draw... Not Maxi, because this Maxi is going to be useless in this fight. Activate Karyushin again. Fortunately, all our thing is kind of destruction based. Ring of Destruction? That's not good. On Jellyfish? Yeah, I'm just going to banish Jellyfish. I see no reason not to just banish Jellyfish. I guess he can activate the spell card that he wants now. If that's what he wants. Um, your opponent cannot target water monsters you control with Nala. You can special summon one from my hand. I don't really have that. I mean, there's a part of me that just kind of wants to get Dark Reef. Because if I can just summon my dude and then I'm good. But I don't know. Uh, not being able to be targeted by effect. Nice. You don't get over. That's tough. I think I'm gonna have to just wait a turn. But I'm gonna get Dark Reef for now. Yeah, and then I'll just end my turn. My jellyfish is back, and his Time Lord is gone. Thankfully, Time Lord decks aren't too hard to just kind of stop. Oh, I can actually just negate, but he I, he can't be destroyed, so it's fine. It would seem to be a waste to use Jellyfish on that, of all things, <laughs> to keep him on the field. Sandalfin. Uh, let me save here. If only your opponent controls a monster you can do during battle, and your player takes bail damage from attacks at the end of the battle phase, it's card plan. To your opponent's... Is he immune? Okay. It's fine. I'm just gonna have to take 2,000 from this. Let me see, they can't be destroyed either, right? Let me share pods. Yeah, should be fine. Oh, he does get destroyed. It's fine. Why didn't he get destroyed? Oh, because he had zero attack. 
And I take 2,000 from that. Should be fine. I'm gonna activate Dark Reef. Gonna be able to get two dudes. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to get Fortress Whale. And then I think we're gonna get... Actually, Doom Kraken would be pretty good against this guy. Cause he doesn't destroy. He just negates the attack. Mm, I think I'll do that then. First things first, Legendary Ocean. <laughs> Get my protection back up. Kairu Shin. Uh, let me see, what did... Yep, Steve Self 2 is the right move. Go here. Fury of the Kairu Shin. Yep, yeah, put everything in attack mode. Uh, and now I think this guy probably just loses. Unless he has an amazing trap card waiting for me. Oh man, if he has that card that... No, it should be fine. Oh, I can summon one from... That's right, I can just summon Jellyfish. Mm-hmm. This way I have a negate if it's some kind of spell, but for now I can attack directly. He's about to hit me with the sickest dimensional wall. Okay, no, he didn't. Okay, go here. And end my turn. I could have played Torrential, but literally it doesn't matter. All his cards stop my ability to destroy. Bye, Time Lord. Okay. He probably has a very... I'm probably gonna lose to, like, Just Desserts or something. So, yeah, I'm just gonna battle. Not gonna bother with changing anything. Not gonna summon anything. Just gonna smack with the whale, and we're gonna call it game there. <laughs> Alright, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I think this deck's rad. I'm still trying to learn it. My brother's much better at using it than I am, which is why you can probably hear him in the background guiding me through there a little bit. But that's it for the video, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!